did die. That's why I came. And now we're checking back in with Marty. Forgive Tim's <laughs> IFB dying, Marty. Yeah, I can't hear anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That just kind of went. Out. That was a little inside thing. Somebody says I can't hear. You just you, you don't talk. You just go in up. And they go really. I can't hear. It. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Cena. Good morning again, everyone. Victor Leva, thank you again for joining us. A couple more out of town projects. Then we're going to get local again. We'll finish with Mr. Bo. You're doing something for the Hard Rock Casino in Atlantic City. Well, the Hard Rock had their Dare nightclub that's been closed was closed all the way through COVID, and they recently decided to reopen it and rebrand it called the Balcony. And uh, we were invited up to do all the interior lighting, special effect lighting for the nightclub. Pretty big deal. Everybody, I think, that's been to Ocean City knows Secrets. You did a huge project with Secrets. Well, Secrets purchased a piece of land right next door to them and built a place called The Hideaway, which is supposed to be like an upscale uh, restaurant dining experience. And I believe there's supposed to be having some weddings and things there. And we, were, we worked with them to develop some really pretty architectural lighting on the docks. Let's go very local here. Two words, National Aquarium. Think this one out. Listen to this. The National Aquarium started like a lot of the projects with the concept video that I sent to the director of the aquarium. Yeah. And uh, it just basically sat there for a couple of years until they decided to spend uh, a tremendous amount of money to renovate the, the glass ceiling tiles that were about 40 years old and needed replacing. And when they decided to do that, we got a phone call that they were ready to go ahead and put the lighting on top. Right. If you haven't seen the National Aquarium recently, it's just like unbelievable. It's its own light show. That is, when, you, when, when, when you bring people in from out of town and they see that wave, you go, I did that. They go like, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. No, these are all projects that I love to be able to point to and say that uh, we had a big part in doing it. And every once in a while you get real local. The Towson Diner. How'd that one come about? I've been eating at a Towson Diner for years. And every time I drove up, another piece of neon was out. And I walked in and spoke to the diner and said, a diner with broken neon is like a shoemaker with no shoes. So I said, will you let me do... Let me replace the neon with something that I wanted to go ahead and do. And he said, go right ahead. And we turned it into a dazzling light show. It is. It's a, it's a dazzling light show. And you know what's interesting about your story? Uh, you're not shy. You will make a video and send it to a company. You're, 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 you're fishing. And sometimes you catch one. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, the videos are really compelling. It's, it, people have a hard time visualizing what can be done. So we put together these videos and we show them their sign or their building and exactly how it could look with our lighting on it. And it makes a very, very compelling, uh, compelling presentation. If someone uh, Google Lebo Lighting Solutions and they go to your website, they can see some of these projects we're talking about. Yeah, all of our projects are there. We've got an extensive project gallery and client gallery. So yeah, I invite everybody to come and take a look and see some of the really cool things we've done. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and end with Mr. Bo because he's been lit up for us. We can now see him because the sun has moved. We do have 15 seconds here. You were telling me that when y'all got out there and started working, you found drones that had crashed into it? There were three drones stuck in the neon. There were five bullet holes in the sign. So apparently a lot of people really are attracted to this sign. And now it's back in all its grandeur. And we have met the gentleman behind the resurgence of Mr. Boa's sign. Victor, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Now we're going to go back to TV Hill. All right, Marty. Fascinating stuff. Seeing it up close and personal. Thank you, Marty.